Hey guys, welcome back to Square County Homestead. We're glad you made it back here with us. Today, we had another fun day. We went to the auction. Follow along. We're going to show you how we acquired this guy behind us. And it may not be what you think, but uh, see how we did at the auction. So follow along with us. Let's go to the auction. Hey, on the gobbler, she wants you to know he's got a bad toe, but he'll still gobble. Catching black black six links. How old are these, Allison? About April cold. It's about two months old. Gosh, right, so I think we're all loaded up. I think we've got. 28 chickens, five rabbits, 10 quail. Yeah, got the other rabbits. We had to, actually had to put them in the back seat on the floorboard. So I think we're all loaded up. We'll get them taken to the get them taken to the auction there. Our little quail here, current quail. We just added in four hens and a little rooster. That's a good little starter set for people that's interested in them. All right, so we're going back up to the auction. Mama, is anything we're looking for at the auction? Not really. You ain't got enough chickens? Yeah. So we're not in the market for anything? Not really. All right. Are you in the market for something? Yeah. What? A goat. A goat? What you gonna do with a goat? I don't know. I want a goat. Just want a goat. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see. Alright, so if y'all seen any of our auction videos, you know the drill. We got our buyer seller number. When we drop off animals, they give us a receipt. So I showing our two sets of quail, our rabbits, uh, and all of our chickens. So if you haven't seen our video, and it was basically how to buy and sell at auction, go back and watch that because there's just not a lot of videos out there explaining how simple and how easy it is to do this. But uh, go check that out. Pretty decent crowd. Here's some of our chicks. There's a rabbit. There's a quail. That's a big plush. You put this labeling on here. I'm finally starting to see people take our advice on this. That's a different color, Jenny. I don't normally see. Look at that fuzzy chicken. There's a good variety here of everything, looks like. 
roast chickens and turkeys and ducks and quail and pigeons and rabbits. All kind of good stuff. Six and eight for Six and eight for them. Your bread, Doc. Austin. The time starts going to be over here. Hey, now, hey, now, the brother, 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 the Chicken on the loose somewhere. 
Oh, there you go. What happens every two or, two or three times every auction? They got it. Basically, we got three dollars per rabbit, which is insane. I don't think we're gonna take any more rabbits back up there. I think I said that last time, but I mean it this time. Our little black sex links, they got five dollars each. That's not too bad. We usually sell them. That's the same price we sell them as like what two day old chicks. But better than nothing. We had some mixed breeds that come in at 650. Let's see. And then we actually brought the most far as quail at four dollars a quail, and that's still a little on the cheap side. But there was other quail that were actually adult quail. And they didn't bring they was bringing like three and three fifty so I was hoping for about five dollars a quail but like I said this this auction I don't know and that's May so I think people are broke with the economy there wasn't a lot of high-end chickens there wasn't a whole lot of adult chickens even the adult chickens wouldn't bring in near about what it was a month ago I think what the the highest we've seen was maybe thirty dollars a chicken. I believe so. Something like that. But we did. Now these little yellow slips. That's stuff we we actually bought. So you know, in the beginning we said we weren't we weren't in the market, but we did buy some stuff, and we'll show you what that is here shortly. So this is what we did buy. And we actually wasn't in the market for anything, but it started with these little guys, just four little bantam birds, a dollar a piece, four dollars, and some more little bantams. Uh, we gave, I'm trying to remember, oh, eight dollars a piece on those. Right here, black copper morans gave five dollars a piece i know i didn't make make money on these birds now we acquired this guy not at the auction after the auction that's why I, I try to tell you you know make friends with people there talk to talk to people uh i've done this before after the auction say if somebody bought 20 of one breed well maybe they actually didn't want all 20 maybe you only wanted two talk to that person see see if they would sell you two of them so we've done that several times but funny story how we acquired this bird after the auction we went to eat lunch and uh a lady approached us said hey i seen y'all at the auction da 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 and she said yeah we bought these buff orpingtons but i don't need the rooster and actually, we we could use the rooster, so bought the rooster for ten dollars. I mean, that's fair fair market price. It's a good looking bird. Well, got to talking to the lady, and she was in the market for some baby barred rocks. Well, guess what we have? We have baby barred rocks, so they are now coming to the house to pick up some barred rocks. So here they are. So you never know what's going to happen at the auction. Uh, we always enjoy auction day. It was definitely a buyer's market. Uh, typically, we won't sell what we call a teenage chicken or chick. So we had some that was six weeks old. We had some that was seven and eight weeks old. Uh, you're almost in a no man's land at that age. It's either you decide to keep them and raise them to full adult chickens, or of course you get rid of them beforehand so as you see it's always it's always a gamble at the auction you never know what's gonna happen but we did have some good good fortune with this guy here good pretty birds you see he's we've got him uh blocked off from the rest of the other flock 
We're going to quarantine him for two weeks. Like we, you've seen our videos before, that's what we do. Quarantine to everybody that we get from auction or from a, from a different source, outside source. Quarantine for two weeks. So I'm telling you, if you get in this situation, you don't want a sick bird coming in and wiping out your flock. I mean, so we can't afford to wipe out, you know, 150, 175 chickens. And I hate to have to show you all this, but this is exactly why we have to quarantine chickens that come that come from other sources. There's something wrong. This one here is expired, okay? These two are both sick. There's something going on. I don't know what it is yet, but I can't I can't have these with, with our other flocks. So this is exactly why I preach quarantine these chickens if you get them from the outside source. So, any other boys, criticisms, comments, just put it in the comment section. Let's talk about it. And as always, we appreciate you watching.